In this series on how I record, edit, and mix my personal audiobooks, I'm going to show you how to use SoundForge Audio Studio to record and edit your audiobook like I do. Now, even if you don't have SoundForge Audio Studio, but you're using another audio recording software program to record your audiobook, that's okay. You know, just pay attention to some of the steps that I take along with my recording and editing tricks that I use in this software because I know you can use them in virtually any audio recording program. Having said that, let's get started. Now, did you download the test trial version of SoundForge Audio Studio? Did you pay for it? Do you have a registration code which could be found either in your magics.com account like this or check your email because they'll send you an email receipt of your purchase which includes the registration code to activate your license of SoundForge Audio Studio. Now, once installed and registered, look for it in your list of programs like this. Start menu, click on All Programs, go through the alphabetical list of program folders. Here it is, Magics, SoundForge Audio Studio 16. That's the latest version that I have. Now, once open, for the very first time, here's something I want you to do and consider. Click on Options, Preferences, Display, and where it says Interface Type, I choose White. You might also choose Light. You see, I don't like working in any software in dark mode. Here's an example of that. You can see this new recording window. I'm going to click the Record icon. Things are happening. We're supposed to be recording audio. Do you see this dark mode? I don't like it. Now here's an example of working in light or white mode. Again, new recording window. Click the recording icon. Things are happening. This is a personal preference. It's your choice. That's just what I like working in. And I just thought you'd like to know what I like to do. Okay, well, now... Here's a quick lesson on how you record your voice with SoundForge Audio Studio. In a few video tutorials to follow this one, I'm going to go into more detail as to what each aspect of the recording process is like for better learning retention. So for now, all you got to do when you have this program open is open a new recording window to start recording your audiobook by clicking on File, New, or Control N, or click this, what looks like a, a page icon right here. Bam. A pop-up window shows up real quick and asks if these are the settings you want. And I pretty much say, yeah, these are the default settings that I want. Sample rate, 44, 100. Bit depth, 16 bit. Channel 2, yeah, that's all good, you know. Just default stuff. Click OK. A new recording window will open, which you can also move around here on the screen anywhere you want. Now, assuming you have your microphone all plugged in, let's test your microphone by recording something, anything. Click the red recording icon here to start recording. Hey, testing, this is a test. Yo, hey, yo, hey, how do I sound? B, b, p, p. If you see any activity in the recording window, you know your recording is live and happening. If you don't see any activity, hmm, then you need to check either your mic input levels, your cables, or your settings. Mm. Remember to speak closely and across the microphone, not directly into it, so you sound warm and clear and concise. Not far off, far away, or tinty, or too close and muffled. Stop the recording at any time by tapping the escape key or spacebar and listen to your recorded audio playback. How does it sound through your headphones? Remember, have your headphones on when you record. How does your voice sound? Too low or too high in volume? Were you speaking too close to the microphone? Speaking too fast or too slow? Hey, pay close attention to how you sound. This is what the audiobook listener will hear, and we want them to hear the best recording you can make. Now, Make any necessary adjustments, which I'll show you in a minute, and then proceed to record your audiobook within this recording window. 
After your recording test goes the way you want, and you've made any adjustments to your mic, highlight this area, highlight this entire recorded piece, Control A is what I like to do, Control A, highlight all, and hit the delete key, and delete it. Gone. We don't need it. That was our test run. That's it. That's all we want to do. You know, within this recording window, you can record and record and record and delete and just highlight and delete again until you have the recording that you want. Now, make room for your new audiobook recording in this very same window by deleting everything and making it completely empty. Now, break open your book in the computer, whether it's a Google Doc, PDF Doc, Word Doc, or even in the publishing file that you laid your book out in. For example, that's what I do. Choose the section you want to record and start recording when you're ready. Whenever you make a mistake, don't worry. Just snap your fingers like this and repeat what you were and repeat what you were supposed to say and repeat what you were supposed to say correctly. For example, actually I just did that. I made a I just made I just made a mistake that I had to correct because it wasn't recorded properly. So I snapped my fingers where I made the mistake. When you're done recording a section, it's time to save your work as a WAV file and not an MP3 file and edit it while it's still fresh in your memory. To save your recording, click File, Save, and save it in the audiobook folder inside the folder for this book you're recording. Give it a name like 00A Welcome and Copyright Information. The zeros indicate any recording before your main chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 03, 04, 05, chapter names that have an A, B, or C in them. They just help order your front pages and their recordings in the proper sequence. You know, 00A, 00B, 00C. They just help order the sequence of your recordings for your book. Done. Now it's time to edit the audio you just recorded and saved in your audiobook folder for mistakes, which I'll show you how that's done in an upcoming video tutorial in this series. Now, once your audio is edited, saved, and sounding like the way you want it to, close this recording window and open a new one, file, new, and repeat these steps all over again for each section of your book that you want to record. And that's it. Hey, record a few sections in your book and then take a break until you're rested to record again. Remember, recording audio is a physical activity. It can take a lot out of you. It can drain you at times. Don't be afraid to give yourself a little rest between recording sessions. Also, don't think you can record all day long and all night long. You can't, and you shouldn't. It's not good for your voice. Record for 30 minutes, 60, maybe two hours worth, because you're taking little breaks in between each section that you're recording. Again, take breaks. Edit your audio. Save it, then record some more if you feel like it. Rinse and repeat. Now, Let's continue to the next few videos in this series on recording your audiobook. I'm going to teach you several individual recording tasks, tricks, and techniques that you need to know about recording audio, no matter what audio recording software you choose to use. Come on, let's keep going.